Hey, you know, in a few weeks from now, you'll all be on your summer vacation. What are you going to do this summer? Go down on the beach, Newport uh, Beach. Yes, yeah, Newport Beach. Yeah. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Surf. And nobody, anybody going to work? Yeah, I'll work and I'll relax. <laughs> You work at relaxing is what it is. Yeah. These guys will probably be out on the road doing a series of wonderful one-nighters, all that glamour, all those holiday inns all over the world. I mean, it's a great way to live. Uh, I think they've been doing it for a while. It's an interesting thing. The lead singer's father was an opera singer, and I'm very curious to know what he thinks of the way his son makes his living nowadays. They've had a lot of varied past. They've all worked a lot before they reached this point of having hit records. Ladies and gentlemen, please greet Frankie and the Knockout. <laughs> father think of how you make a living i think he's real happy well obviously you got great pipes and all of that Thank but did he when you first started to sing this kind of music did an opera singer really appreciate it he appreciated it in the beginning then i went with uh, a heavy metal band for a while got a little nose on my throat did the, you know working with, what was it called bull angus right a loud group did it affect your hearing uh what 
<laughs> You're putting me on now. Introduce me to your friends, please. Let's start. Uh, let's see. We'll start on the far end, and then we'll work our way around. Okay. This is Blake Levinson. Hello, Blake. Nice to have you with us. How many groups have you worked with in your life? Probably at least twenty. All right. There you go. I'm going to run a little survey, gentlemen. Okay. This is Billy Elworthy, guitar. How many groups? About six. Six. See, he's a novice. He's just or either that or he keeps a job longer. <laughs> on drums, Claude Lehenoff. Well, how many groups have you worked with in your life? I'd say about 12. It's hard well, a lot. I mean, I was looking over your biography. You've all had these checkered backgrounds. I mean, it's, it's, it's one thing after another. On bass? On bass, Lee Fox. Lee, nice to have you here. How many groups have you worked uh, with? Too many to remember. You can't really remember? <laughs> On keyboards, Tommy Ayers. Tommy, let me slip this way. How many groups have you been with? Oh, probably a couple hundred. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're teasing me, right? 10? 12? A little more. A little more than 10? How do you come about getting your own thing after all those influences? Because everybody you work with influences you. Well, it took us uh, a while to find ourselves when we found each other. Uh, I think we come from roots of R&B and rock and roll. I listened to a lot of Young Rascals when I was a kid. So I think that's really where our influence comes. Rod Stewart, because we toured with him for a while. Who writes the music? Um, basically us three. Right over here on right. this side? Right. And everybody else kind of adds in their parts and colors. Where do you make your records? Uh, New York. In New York? In New Are you all, New all New Yorkers? New York, New Jersey. We mixed the album in L.A. Well, it's the best of both worlds. There you are.